In this video, you are going to learn how to quickly and easily rewrite all of the PLR articles that you purchase. This is really important. We buy PLR articles primarily to save us time because creating content is difficult and it's time consuming. But it's no good just buying PLR, copying, pasting and publishing on our website. That is not going to get us the results that we want. We are going to need to put in a little bit of effort to rewrite the content, to make it better, to make it longer potentially, and also to make it unique. Now there are no penalties if you don't do this. People sometimes mistakenly believe that there are going to be duplicate content penalties. That's not true, but you aren't going to get results either if you just copy and paste. So we're going to do this quickly and easily and to demonstrate this I'm going to be using an article from my video content PLR site and we're going to focus on the intermittent fasting niche and I've actually got an article ready here how to do intermittent fasting we've got this well written and well researched article we've got references at the end we can see that this is 1135 words so I'm just going to copy the article I won't copy the references at the bottom so we've got this article so as I've mentioned we do not want to copy and paste and rewriting this manually is an option but that is going to be very time consuming and that really isn't why we got PLR we got PLR to save time so I'm going to head on over to Quillbot, which is my absolute favorite tool when it comes to paraphrasing content. Now Quillbot has both a free and a premium version. You can see I've got the premium version here. And the difference is the features that you have. With the free version, you can only use a couple of these modes, standard and fluency, to paraphrase or rewrite the content. With the premium version, you get a bunch of other features here, but you also get different modes. So what does this mean? Well, if you check fluency this will basically paraphrase the text and all it will do is it will replace certain words with synonyms now you could have max changes or very few changes it's entirely up to you if you have the premium version you can make it more formal should you want to you can make it easier to understand which is often a good thing you can use the creative option you can make it longer or you can shorten it I sometimes like the creative section. Uh, I often use the simple or the fluency as well. I don't use the formal myself. And whereas expand makes, you know, it sounds good to make an article longer, you don't want to make sentences overly long and overly complex. So we'll use simple. And I'm just going to put my article in here. Now, before we paraphrase it, there are a couple of things. You might want to format this a little bit and add some spaces. You're going to want to come in here if there are any references such as these numbers and you're just going to want to manually delete these. If you're using a different kind of PLR and you've mistakenly copied through images, you're going to want to remove those. And if anything is in all caps and you want Quillbot to paraphrase that, then you're going to have to change it from all caps because if Quillbot sees something in all caps, it thinks it's important and therefore it doesn't actually paraphrase that. Now that's not an issue here. Just going to come through and make sure I've not missed anything. We're not going to go too hardcore with making this look lovely, but just want to do a couple of things. I think we're good to go. We are no other numbers. That'll do. So I'm just going to hit paraphrase. Nice and simple. And Quillbot, as you can see, super, super quick. It's now paraphrasing our article. And it's not changing the meaning. It's just changing the wording. Uh, so it's you know new content so we've got to wait for a few seconds now we've got 1168 words so it is actually longer so we can see here how to do intermittent fasting how to do fasting every so often I don't like that because I don't think it's the right phrase so we can highlight the phrases that are colored uh, we can click on this and we can choose a different word we can rephrase uh, I'm going to click on that one how to go about intermittent fasting Intermittent fasting is a healthy long term. It can be, oh, let's click on hard. We can change this as it can be difficult to start intermittent fasting. So, as you can see, you can go through and you can spend as much or as little time as you want to go through and see if this content is, you know, suitable for you. Once you're happy, click on copy full text and you've got a couple of choices here. Now, Quillbot has a grammar checker so I'm just going to open this in a new tab I'm going to click on this we're going to paste this in here wait for a second and you can see it's automatically going through and it's gradually going to find what it deems to be words that can be changed or fixed 
and you can highlight over these so for example pm should be pm so you can click on that and it's changed you can click on that and it's changed if you want to you can fix all areas but be careful there because you may not need to fix everything for example if we click on this remove the capitalization okay we could do that this is very similar to grammarly but it's built into quillbot premium so just to save time i'm going to fix all errors so now i have a paraphrased article that is free of grammatical errors. So now I'm going to copy this again. Next step is to come over here and use a plagiarism checker. I don't want to, you know, be plagiarizing somebody else's content. That's not cool. So I've got a couple of options. I can paste this in here. So if I paste that whole article in here, according to Quillbot, that's the equivalent of five pages. Now we only get 20 pages before we have to buy more. So it's going to eat this up quickly if you're doing this quite often now of course you can do this but personally I prefer to use this service here which is called copyscape so I'm going to paste the article in here now currently I have $18.68 in premium credits so I'm going to hit premium search and we'll see how much that goes down by it goes down to $18.55 but it did give me a warning it did say that this is um, taken from somewhere else so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in here I'm just going to refresh Quillbot to get rid of this text and then when it's opened up I'm going to paste the new article in here and I'll just do a fluency and we kind of do the same process but I'm not going to go through with the the check and the grammar and all of that here I'm just going to wait now we've got 1106 words we're going to copy the full text come back to copy state clear enter it in premium search and now we have um, a plagiarism free article that we can use so i'm going to head on over to a google drive doc plonk it in there and come to the top just make some spaces i'm just gonna copy this put that in there one second now if you want to of course you can then go through inside of your Google Drive doc and you can start adding in some tags so that it's ready to be copied and pasted onto your WordPress site so I could do that this way for example make it bold make it slightly bigger and go through but there are a few other things I want to draw your attention to inside of Quillbot so let's go inside of Quillbot so we've done the grammar checker the plagiarism checker if I'm perfectly honest I don't use the co-writer the summarizer we can click on the summarizer this is a great way to summarize specific paragraphs now we don't need to summarize the actual piece of content that we've already run through it because we've already paraphrased it but let me show you what you can do you can come on over here to Google and you can type in your keyword so in this case it's intermittent fasting and then I'm just gonna put guide hit enter and if we scroll down, we have these sections here, people also ask. Now there are currently here, one, two, three, four. Open and close, now we've got more. Open and close, now we've got more. Open and close, now we've got more. So what we can do, obviously we're going to have to go through and find a suitable part of our article, is we can take these questions and also add them in. So let's just pick one randomly. Um, let's come here and choose this one. How long should beginners do intermittent fasting? So first of all, I'm going to copy that question and I'm going to come back to my doc and I'm going to come to the bottom and I'll put that in there and I'll make this an H2 tag. Make it, so we've got that, I'll make it bold. Now, I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to open this up and I'm going to copy this, copy. Then I'm going to come to Quillbot Summarizer. I'm going to put that in there and we're going to summarize. Now we can determine whether we want it shorter or longer and you know we can do you know according to a few researchers now we can copy this and we can come back over here to copyscape and we've got a couple of options we can paraphrase this but first of all we're going to run this through copyscape it's probably going to bring something up it might not it does you see it brings a lot of stuff up so there are a few things we can do we can take this as is we can come over here we can plonk that in here now don't want you think we're just going to be plagiarizing somebody else's work what we can then do is we can click on this article grab the URL 
Then we can come back over to Quillbot and we can come here to Citation Generator. We can come in here, we can put the URL, we can click on this and it gives us this information here. Save Citation, it brings it out here and then we can just copy the full citation and we can come back over here, not over here, we can come back to here and then we can put this in the bottom. So we could put this at the bottom of our article and then what we can do is we can just put number one and then when we actually come to our article what I would do is I'd put square bracket one that and then I would actually hyperlink this to to this. So we'll click that there and we can hyperlink that and that way we're giving credit to the original author. Now if you don't want to make your article look too academic in style, another option is you head on over here and obviously you can rewrite this yourself. You can make it longer and better, which is one good way of doing so because that's not going to take you too much time as long as you know the, the niche in question. Or you can copy this. You can head on over to Quillbot, you can plonk it in here and you can paraphrase it and double check it in Copyscape and when you're ha happy you can use that as well. I definitely think it's a good idea and it's ethical to link out to sources that have helped you in your research and provided you with information. On a personal level, I don't really care whether I do a do follow or no follow link. I'll just link out um, and not worry about that kind of stuff personally. We can of course go back and we can add a bunch of these in which is naturally going to make our article longer. Now one other thing that you can also do is you can create an image for your article. The best way to do that is to go on over to Canva. I use Canva Pro and for a featured image you can click create design and you can have custom design and this is my preferred dimensions 1200 by 700 pixels and in here you can click on elements and you can start typing in your topic so intermittent whoops spell that correctly intermittent fasting click on that and now we have these images and photos I go to photos myself and then we just find an image that we really like so for example this one looks cool so I could click on this I just kind of drag it and drag it across as well so it kind of fits across the whole screen maybe just bring that down a little bit, play around with this until you're happy. That looks kind of cool. We've got graphics as well. So we've got these little things that look pretty good that I like. I could click on this. I could drag that across if I wanted to. Didn't like it, I could get rid of that and choose something different. We could do that. Or if you wanted to, we could get rid of this and we could add some text. Click on that. I could just start typing in intermittent fasting then what I would do is click outside kind of drag it down a little bit so I can see it better make sure that oh that didn't work did it make sure that I've highlighted the whole text probably make it bold choose a different font that's kind of a cool font make it a lot bigger the actual keyword was intermittent fasting guide so we'll add that as well if you wanted to you could do that you can also click on effects and make the text look better it's entirely up to you what you want to do if you wanted to you could upload an image here you could upload your logo and then drag and drop that on here and when you're happy you can then name your file your keyword spell it correctly click share download now personally this is going to be quite a big file size so I would switch to a JPEG and a small one click download that doesn't mean small with dimensions it just means the file size is going to be small and not put too much stress on your server click on that just double check it and you can see we've got it there it's a little bit blurry there so we could potentially you know re-download it let's come here one option you can do is click share download go back to PNG but also compress the file for lower quality click on download and let's see what this looks like it's going to download shortly there we go double click on that that does look a little bit better so we've got that there we can now upload that to our site along with our brand new article as a featured image and if anybody was to share our article on social media that is the article that would get shared so hopefully this video has given you some ideas on how you can take a piece of PLR content 
and you can rewrite it, you can add to it, you can find citations, you can make sure that it's plagiarism free, even create a featured image and it's not that difficult at all. It's definitely worth putting in a little bit of effort because you are going to get much, much better results. And once you get used to doing this, it becomes super, super quick. And you might buy a pack of 10 articles. Each article might take you half an hour, 40 minutes maybe, to make longer, bigger, better and unique, and you'll be good to go. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, and all of the resources I've mentioned will be in the description. Cheers, and I'll see you soon.